Good morning friends. Today we will learn about cam and follower. See, in GeoGebra, I have defined a cam with a falling edge, dwell time, rising edge and dwell on rising edge. So, in many mechanisms, we use cam and follower system. So, if complex mechanisms are to be simulated on GeoGebra, we can use such cams. And today we will learn how this cam is been made. So, let's first basic learn basics about cam. So, see. There are mostly three types of cams like uh, they depend on different followers like first one is notch follower, second one roller follower and lastly flat follower. So by the difference in follower we get somewhat different linear displacement by cam. So, Cam theory. First, to design a cam, we define a displacement diagram. Then, check whether the displacement diagram does not exceed maximum acceleration or velocity. When we get safe points, we trace those on GeoGebra and find the follower's movement. And further analysis can be done. So, let's consider an example with a given displacement diagram like initially there is a dwell time till 20 degree then there is a rising edge till one around 160 degree then again a dwell so you can see first dwell increase dwell decrease and from 0 to 360 our cycle is complete so uh, now let's see the things we saw in GeoGebra like base dwell time was represented by yellow rising side was represented by green dwell on upper side was given by red and falling side was given by blue so we saw the animation now We'll see about the points, how the equation of points is been given on GeoGebra because basic principles of GeoGebra works on equation. So the whole equation behind any point A is equal to its base diameter plus offset displacement into cos of actual angle plus angle for slider this is just for motion purpose similarly y coordinate will be given by base radius plus offset displacement into sine of actual angle plus angle of slider so for better understanding we will split the equation if the as we know the parameter equation of circle is r sin theta r cos theta okay now if we want to increase the radius that means displacement on cam we need to add a parameter named c so we added c in radius now irrespective of a the radius will be 50 plus c now if we want to give motion to cam we have a displacement into cos of a that is initial angle initial approach and plus the b that is the value of slider so initially if the point is at 30 degree so we will write 50 plus c cos of 30 plus b where b will define the slider so this was basics about the theory now let's go back to GeoGebra. 
So, for seeing these equations, let's see spreadsheet. So, if we double click the spreadsheet, we get to see point yellow point with 50 plus C1 and C1 here is 0 into cos of 3 times the angle this other angles so for 360 degree we will only need 120 angles because all the points are given at 3 degree intervals comma y coordinate will be 50 plus cos of uh, c1 into sine of 3b1 plus h and h is given by slider okay so similarly we define all the angles and displacements and we get this curve now we get the cam between inner circle of 50 radius and outer circle of 75 because our maximum displacement is 25 which we can see in spreadsheet C. If you see here the red at 25 plus base radius 50. So 50 plus 70, 25 is 75. So here at 75 we get the circle. So this was all about cam theory on GeoGebra. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, do subscribe and see my other videos. Thank you.